Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. My name is Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to my channel. So we're doing a pick a card today for what will my Thanksgiving be like? Okay, let me move the camera back a little bit. Okay, so yeah, pick a stone, pick a crystal, any crystal. And I basically decided to do this video. I did one like this last year. And so I know a lot of people are you know kind of get nervous around the holidays because like um some of us are kind of feel like unwelcome when we go around family you know and certain people and sometimes you know it might be new for us when we're going around new family or sometimes we might not have anything to do so we want to know if anything good is happening so i i also have another video coming out about um miracles that could be happening around this season because this is a very um, positive season and um, a good season for manifestations and things like that. So, are you guys ready? I know you are ready. You're waiting on me, right? Okay, let's go. So, for those of you guys who are drawn to this um, power right right here, these are your cards, but I'm just going to um, I'm just ranking on my nerves. <laughs> I'm going to turn them over so I won't have any trouble trying to pick them up after kind of with my nails and show you guys your cards we have cultivation okay we have concentration we have blessings which is great inner knowing personal transformation so yeah, I know exactly what these cards are saying. Just because before I even press play, I was getting a message. Like sometimes I get messages before I even turn it over. And so this this can go one or two ways, okay? So some of you guys are probably wondering what would your holiday be like because you're considering going um, more than one place. So definitely if you're going to a place where there's going to be a lot of people, I'm looking at the fact that this card is upside down. No, I don't pay attention to that all the time, but sometimes I do. And this card is all about bringing people together. And I'm um, looking at this number 10 here. Let me turn it around now so I can read it better. Okay, I'm looking at this number 10, you know, 3 plus 17. I was an old and was a new. But if you're doing the very opposite of this, I think you should let bygones be bygones. I think some of you guys... And the way I'm really feeling about this, some of you guys probably are wondering should you go around certain family members and or go back home. Because like that's what a lot of us do, go back home. And I, I'm really hearing let by guns be by guns. Like if you know like you're just black sheep, just to be for real. Because you know a lot of us feel like this, especially a lot of us that are drawn drawn to this channel that are even drawn to readings like this in general where a lot a lot of us is just known as different the black sheep and you're really just a light worker we are trailblazers you know and that's one reason why we get ran over so much so the card is all about bringing people together and come together it's saying like the opposite like if you're going to a place like that where there would be a lot of people it won't feel like that it will actually be what you think it's going to be some of you guys are just actually thinking like is this going to be as bad as i think it is and i'm looking at this as this isn't like a negative thing too i'm also looking at this eight here eight is the number for like financial it could be a number for abundance and like um financial increase and by it being upside down by it you know being in like a negative situation like I said, I don't I don't pay attention to the fact that it's upside down sometimes, but sometimes I do. I think this can even be a financial strain for you. Maybe some for some of you guys. Okay, y'all, the phone cut off. I always forget to delete fi old files before I start new videos. But <laughs> okay, like I was saying though, I I was looking at that this would just be the opposite of um, this being a good. Um, what eights are usually, you know, signify when it's um, high, when it's uh, when it's positive, that it would be um, probably like I usually say, like a financial blessing coming in or something like that. But this is just actually the opposite. Like this will be a um, financial strain on you. So some of you guys will just end up regretting it because you probably don't really have the finances to go right now. You should. Um, 
and even though you really want to go some of you guys probably really, really want to go somewhere but it's just going to be a financial strain and i feel like even if you i feel like when you get there you're going to end up just losing more money wherever you guys are going um, the thing is, I don't feel like you're supposed to be there. I don't feel like you're supposed to be here where it seems like, you know, where you're supposed to be coming together with, you know, love, happiness, and harmony and all that. I just think that, um, it would be the very opposite of that. And I think some of you guys know that and that's why you're here and Spirit is like, yeah, your intuition is right. Your intuition is telling you that this won't be this love and happiness thing. So, um, maybe it will be like, um, I feel like it will be like some isolation going on with you, you know. But with this card also, Spirit is like, do some meditation on this and we'll definitely tell you guys what it is. Yeah, look at this number nine hit endings. I really feel like you guys are just not about, you're not supposed to go. Maybe you need a person to read with this. If so, you can contact me, contact whoever you want to, you know, because I think, think that, um... Your intuition is actually telling you not to go for some reason, and you just should not go. Um, it's going to be bad f for you financially, and just for some of you guys, even if it's not a financial move, you really just need to look at that, the fact that things are over. This is the ending. Like, you don't have to always go back to things is what I'm feeling like. Those of you who were here probably wanted to see about going back somewhere, going back home like a lot of us do for the holidays. So... And because this is you now, you're going through this personal transformation. God, you have a lot of eights here. You're going through this personal transformation. You're doing your thing. Um, you're going to higher heights, deeper depths in the um, spirit, in the spirit world. And you're just doing your thing where you're at now. You're doing so good where you, where you are at now. Let bygones be got bygones, you guys. And don't go back to this old stuff, you know. I'm looking at another A here. So before, when it was negative, this is definitely positive, and it came out positive. It came out right side up, so that's good. So the whole deck, like I was thinking, you guys, it's not just two. I mean, it's not just one thing. This just seems like it was two or more than one places that you place that you guys wanted to go. And if you choose the other way out, you know, I'm looking at the cards that came out positive and the cards that came out negative, you know, and um, that you'll actually there's something for you to do where you are at i'm really hearing stay put for you guys yeah i looked down and it was 333 if i don't have to do anything to this video then it'll be 333 i think i do i think i do have to do something to this video so it won't be 333 i'm looking at how long the video has been on in this 44 so i feel like you guys are exactly where you're supposed to be and i think this is where your blessing is is at and this is where you're gonna have financial success at don't think about going back to some i just think for the majority of you guys who are here you're thinking about going back to somewhere or um at least for this reading wherever you're thinking about going i just think it's a bad idea and it's not gonna be about coming together like i usually read this card Car. It's not going to be about coming together and all that. It's, you know, it's not going to be peace, love, and happiness. I feel like you're going to actually be more so by yourself, you know. Um, you're going to be more so by yourself, more so isolated that you already feel. You're going to actually be that. And you're going to be wondering, like, why did I ever come? Why did I even come here? And I'm just by myself. Like, everybody's always doing their own thing anyways, you know. You know, you different. Look. <laughs> and as I'm looking down now, y'all, it's 444. So, when you see fours, that's the number that tells you. First of all, go watch my video on 44s. But that is the number that will tell you that you are in the right space, okay, that your spiritual team has placed you there. And that is all for those of you who are drawn to this pie, right? But, but I hope you do have a good holiday. You will if you stay with you where you're at. The thing is, I actually see you something happening, something really fun happening. And maybe this is just not what, you, what you're used to because you're used to going back. But something, I feel like something really fun is going to happen. Or something with blessings is going to happen, okay? Look for my video on um, the holiday miracle video. I think you guys are going to probably to be led to a really good part so that's all you guys so if you're new here then go ahead and listen to a couple of more of my videos and see if you want to become a part of this tribe and if so then hey 
<laughs> will welcome you here with open arms and for the rest of you continue to come and grow with us and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye so for those of you guys who are drawn to this uh, red jasper right here here are your cards and I have them in my hand just so I can show you guys the cards because when I lay them out I have a hard time picking them up with these nails so let's see what do we have here enlightenment oh let's turn it around like it was oh splendor decision revelation <laughs> okay so yeah so why are all these cards like definitely you've been deciding okay I feel um, more like a, maybe just for some of you guys though, like a lonely energy, but definitely trying to see what, sh more so what should you do for this holiday. And I think what you guys want is like this lavishness. I told y'all I'd be having a hard time picking it up. <laughs> you want like this lavish, like this um, very festive holiday and I think maybe that's what you're used to maybe that's what you've always done like trying to see you know the next big thing but I'm feeling like this energy of like I said for some of you guys loneliness but for some of you guys you probably just want to be by yourself and I'm thinking for some of you guys maybe you will have been invited somewhere and you're wondering well this looks so this looks fun you know this is something I would usually do or for some of you guys, maybe it's something that you've never done before, but just something that looks fun. And maybe you've been invited somewhere, so you're wondering, should you go? And I'm going to say, no, you should not go. <laughs> you should um, just because if you go there, if you go here, I just don't think it's going to be all that is, that is cracked up to be. So, of course, you have free will. Go if you want to. But um, this is what I want to know. Sometimes when I be on pick a card readings, you guys, sometimes um, I get an answer. And then when I go and do that thing, and it's not all that is cracked up to be. And then I wish, like, yeah, like, you know, the the... The card did say that, and we can't rely on pick a card readings for everything, you guys. But so, you know, I, so of course I don't. But sometimes I wish, like, just go ahead and tell me no. Like, <laughs> don't be like, yeah, you should go. So I started telling spirit that I started telling spirit to be, you know, just more honest with me. Just go ahead and say no if you know I'm not gonna enjoy it. Don't, you know, don't tell me yes just because I can go and you don't see nothing wrong happening with me, you know. So sometimes we have to be more straightforward towards spirit and i feel like those of you guys who are led to this red jasper i think you guys are like that you're straightforward type of people so i'm going to tell you no don't go because you're not going to have the fun that you think that you're going to have okay and um and the thing is i think you guys have been doing a lot of thinking about this like a lot I don't all these cards that have to do with thinking but the thing is your holiday can definitely be a good one because i feel for the majority of you you just want to be by yourself and i feel like that's what you should you should take this time to be by yourself you should take this time to <laughs> i gotta i gotta move these cards all the way to the end to pick it up you should use this time to meditate. I feel like some of you guys are just very spiritual people and you want to do this. you like, I want to sit down. I want to be by myself this time. I just really want to sit down and be by myself and meditate. And that's what you should do. And you're going to have a good time doing it because don't we have the best times just being by ourselves? being by ourselves and just chilling sometimes and i think you're gonna get a lot of downloads through this time some of you guys are actually just can just be by yourself and do a lot of research um and some of you guys have been saying that like my next off day or during the holidays i really want to catch up on, on like a lot of work that i have to do a lot of research but you know i don't feel like this is you just trying to work work i think this is you probably trying to find something interesting out you know like some type of research or something like that because i definitely 
see you getting a lot of downloads through this time. And I see you guys doing a lot of meditation through this time. Now, if, if it's really just the opposite and you're like, no, like I am lonely. Like I, I don't want to be alone on this holiday, Gabrielle. And you're telling me not to go to that place. Well, maybe if this is the place that you, I just think if you have been invited somewhere and you're wondering should you go or, you know, should you not go, then it's your intuition just um, kind of letting you know that, you know, that, you know, maybe you should not go because it's, you know, they know. <laughs> <laughs> they know my bad I got a message uh, I got a message just popped up from my friend and I it's funny anyways so because um yeah you're just not gonna have the fun that you think you're gonna have it's just gonna be it's not even gonna be your cup of tea I'll just give you guys an example like skiing Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun to me, but if I get there and I don't like it, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad because it's not my cup of tea. I don't see myself liking it. I don't see, my, see myself enjoying it. Like, I can actually see and know how it would turn out for me, guys, but it looks fun. <laughs> It looks fun, and I want to wear one of the outfits. Y'all, I do, I do a lot of things just so I can put on a outfit or a costume because I'm just, I'm just extra like that. <laughs> so I think that's what it is for you guys. I think if you really listen to yourself, you'd be like, nah, nah, that ain't even me. It just looks fun. It sounds fun. Or maybe I didn't hype myself up and say, yeah, you know, well maybe I will have fun. No, you're not. I'm just gonna tell y'all straight up, you're not gonna have fun. But find somewhere else to go. There is something else for you to do, okay? So, um, because I actually just see you guys just being in this peaceful state and a restful state. And um, so, yeah, also picking, if you really, I'm really just getting more of just being at peace and being by yourself for, um, um, for your holiday with this car. And if it's just the opposite, then I think your message is that you should not go here, you know, um, you should not go there, but, um, but I'm, I'm not really getting where else you should do if it's really just the opposite because that's all I'm, I'm being led to um, with these people. I think majority of you guys just want to stay home. Let me know in the comment section, you know, if um, you guys are feeling me on that, if that's exactly how you feel. You know, I love hearing, hearing from you guys. And if so, just pick another card if it didn't resonate. And that's all, y'all. Continue to come and grow with me. Oh, I have to tell you guys who are new here. If you are new here, you might want to go and look around, look at some more of my videos and see how well you like them. If you like them, then, you know, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. If you feel like this is the channel for you, we'll welcome you with open arms. If you want to become a part of this tribe, go ahead and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye, y'all. For those of you guys who are drawn to this green adventuring right here, here are your cards. I have them in my hand. Hmm, my hand. Because I already know when I put them down here, y'all. It's so hard for me to pick them up, so. Here we go. Okay. We have openness. We have understanding. Um, we have childlike expression, steadfastness, harmony. Oh, leave it to the harmony card to bring everything together because I was like, Spirit, what are you saying? So, definitely, you're going to have a good holiday, okay? You're going to have a good holiday. Just because um, this car looks so festive, don't it? <laughs> it looks so seasonal. <laughs> Harmony, of course. The car bringing things together, bringing everyone together. I'm just thinking, y'all. I hear your message, but I'm thinking about something. I'm thinking about something, okay? So let me just put some stuff together first. Might have to even pull some more cards. 
So are you guys this confused about your holiday? Like, some of you guys probably feel like a like there's a block or something just trying to stop you from celebrating. Um, there's not really. I remember this is just in your life too. Spirit wants me to give you guys a message for your life too. That's not. Spirit wants you to open your eyes to certain things. Because I think you're kind of misinformed or um, just um, ignorant to some things, you know, meaning, you know, ignorant, meaning uneducated about some certain things. And I think it has to do with this holiday. And the, a message for you guys is because you would want to know you're that type of person. So, you can do more research on this holiday. Some, I think that's what it is. Some of you guys are wondering, should you even celebrate the holiday? I don't think you're just here to see what would your Thanksgiving be like. You're just, you're even wondering, should you even celebrate the holiday? And I think some of you guys are considering your children. And this is in this decision you're like, well, I want to keep doing this for my children. Some of you guys don't really believe in it. But the thing is, um, with this openness card here, you can make this holiday or any holiday whatever you want it to be. I'll give you guys um, my opinion on holidays because I'm not big on holidays either. But I like the fact because I'm just this type of person. I do like the fact that there are set days out to love on people. That there are set days for that. Because a lot of people say we should do this stuff all the time. But the reality is we don't do this stuff all the time. So if we can set days aside for the world to come together i honestly just don't see like to me in my head you guys like i just love that idea i love the fact of a day set aside for something special because i feel like even if i even in our everyday lives we should just set certain days aside because we're busy most of the time we're working most of the time we're doing our own thing most of the time People are busy hating on us every day of the week. So we have a day that's supposed to be the energy of this day. That's supposed to be, you know, specifically for love. Because the world calls this day Thanksgiving to be grateful and to practice gratitude. And you guys, that is one way that we manifest a whole lot faster by practicing gratitude. So if, um, if anything you want to do on this day, you know, um... It, it, you can, like, I wouldn't say ask for anything on this day because it's just not the energy for this day. But definitely set your intentions, you know. Or look back and reflect. Like on my other video that I just did the other day about um, uh, reflecting on things. You can go watch that also. Reflect on, you know, the things that... You know, the many battles that you won, like I said in that video, the things that you've overcome, and the things that you are just thankful for. You can do that. Start your own traditions. So, with this steadfastness card here. Okay, I'm not going to probably read that in the way that you guys are thinking. I was, I was already saying some stuff. Concern, you know, uh, with that card in my mind already. But I'm just hearing that um, Spirit is saying we want you to stop and look at, you know, what you're really doing so you can, you can take this more seriously. You can take this holiday more seriously. I think it's really a representation, a representation of the holiday. You can take it more seriously. And... Because I think some of you guys just really will want to know. And when you find out some truths about it, you know, then you can take from there um, 
what you want to do with it. If you're going to stop it completely, that's on you, or you're going to keep going. But I think if you're a part of this reading, I'm going to give you guys an answer on what to do, because that's what readings are for, I feel. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I do be like, I don't I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> sometimes Spirit don't want me to tell you guys, and but I do feel like when you come to the reading, for the most part, you should get an answer. And I do think that it's for you guys to just... Um, to just study more on exactly what you want this holiday to be, you know, and um, focus more on that instead of focusing on the traditional part of it. And I think that you guys can still celebrate that holiday. That is your answer to go ahead and still celebrate the holiday, but go ahead and do it in a way that's more true to you and legitimate to who you are you know, more real to who you are. And I think that's you guys' message. So, what will your Thanksgiving be like? I mean, for one, I think it'll be great. It'll be great. I think you're going to have a lot of fun. I think it's going to be nice, but, you know, whatever you decide to do, you're going to make this holiday your own. Spirits like, if you're drawn to this card, to, um, to these cards or this stone right here, this is for you to make this holiday your own. And it's going to be great. It's going to be very festive. And I think you guys are going to be... A you're going to actually probably think of ways to bring people together. Or maybe you want to think of a way to bring more people together. And you should. And I feel like when you should, it's definitely going to be a success, okay? So maybe that's what it is for some of you guys. You actually want to think of a way to do the holiday differently. And do it, you know... Um, not tr in this traditional way and when you figure out however this is going to be that's why I feel like you guys should do it because I think this is definitely going to be like um, I think Spirit wants you guys to look up whatever you have to look up research whatever you have to research on this if you have to or just go you know just meditate on it some more and just see exactly what you want to do with this holiday because I think Spirit actually wants you guys to do this so you can um, take it Take it and take a turn with it, and you can actually bring more people together in um, a right way, in the right way, because I think that's what you guys will, will want to do. Let me know down in the comment section, you guys, um, if this is resonating with you at all, because I really feel like those that's the type of people, that is the type of people that you are. Like, you really want to bring people together the right way, or, you know, and if it's not this holiday, it can be for the next holiday you know next year or something but you really want to figure out a way how to bring people together um the right way you know in this non-traditional way and so maybe you guys are vegan some maybe some of you guys are vegans like me and you know like you know some people tell vegans like they're really not celebrating the holiday because they're not eating the turkey when actually you know it's a lot of things that <laughs> you know um if you're gonna go if you're gonna go you look at it like that because I don't look at it like that because I don't care enough to say now me personally I don't care enough to say whether I'm celebrating the holiday or not but if you do you know then there's a lot of things that they did back then that we're not doing now so you know so I definitely think spirit wants you guys to go a different way by doing this just for the simple fact so you can bring people together and I feel like a lot of you guys actually want to do that and I think when you do that then it's going to be a success and that's your answer whatever you're thinking about doing do it in this different way whatever you've been thinking about uh, about however you've been thinking about doing it in this different way do it like that and it's going to be a success and you're going to have a lot of fun like I really feel like this you're going to bring a lot of people together and it's going to be it's going to be very festive, very fun. Maybe you guys going to go like, maybe you're going to like decorate and things like that. I just see with this car, I see you guys having a lot of fun and actually doing a great thing, okay? So that's all, y'all. So if you're new here, you might want to watch a couple of my videos, you know, see if you like it or not, see if you resonate with me. And if you do, then hey, we'll welcome you with open arms here. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, so you can become a part of this tribe and that's for everybody else to continue to come grow with us. Subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye y'all.